It's always the last bolt and anything you do that doesn't want to move. Pretty much day one, we were going to be cleaning, removing anything that we don't need because we're going to have to lay new floor. We're trying to give it away, but no one wants it. Five this thing, this thing is awesome, but it's just ridiculously too big. We're going to remove this and give it over to Shelter Island Boat Yard. Someone will take it over there in like five seconds. So here's the deal. We got all three, all the other three, but this one won't budge. We got a cheater pipe. Come to work, baby. Woo, did it work? Yes. Nice. Do it again. This is my workout for today. Oh, look at you oh. made it look so easy. Goodbye, oh my God. goodbye, Mr. Goodson. You showed oh me. God. You okay. should feel how heavy this is. Oh, I know. I got it's all steel. shy on over here. How Would is you it? rather have it shy here or there? Um, it's right on here. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Well, just there's just see right here. Oh yeah. Pretty pretty big. Damn. Of aluminum under there that overlaps here. Mhm. Mm It'll look fine. Or like you said, get a bigger threshold. Mm. Instant floor. We are in discovery mode basically with all the electrical system and the cool thing about buying an ambulance is a lot of everything is pretty much primarily run. All the electrical harnesses, they already have an inverter on board that we discovered, so you don't have to buy an inverter, which is cool. And Billy's gonna run you through how we are going to map out everything for having solar, having um, basically being totally off grid. Everybody, here we are in our converted ambulance van, which is an E350 that we recently bought, and um, we've been slowly converting it we got a little bit work done for our first trip. And if a lot of you seen our, our video on Foxing Around called She's a Bitchin' Gentry Boat, I think is what, what it's called. She's a Bitchin' Gentry Boat, which she is. And Don Johnson back in the 80s used to race on this boat. And, and I think he's win, won a lot of pickle dishes from that as well. Billy right now is surveying the boat. And um, also we got a new member of the family I want to show you. Gidget, the wonder puppy. She is a Chewini and she's a really good traveler. So she's going to be coming with us on a lot of the van trips. You also know that we have a 41 foot Newport boat that we travel around in as well. We do both. We're going to stay overnight on a campground. We're looking at Doheny and uh, there's a little bit of surf. We didn't bring our boards this trip because uh, like I said, this is kind of our first little shakedown cruise and we're only doing it overnight and we didn't want to bombard ourselves with too much stuff. So come enjoy to see what the van life is going to be like. Mm -hmm. 